when Casey and I started to work on the show and I, I started to discover more of the music, I couldn't stop listening to it. And I felt that the immediacy of it, the intensity, the swing, the groove, those things just blew me away. I had known a little bit about King Records from listening to Tiny Bradshaw and Little Willie John and Freddie King and stuff like that. But one thing that blew me away when I started to do more research about it was the fact that you had, in the 50s, you had an interracial studio band. So black and white musicians playing together, which was unheard of at that time. And also the same group of musicians recording the same song in multiple varieties. So you would have Roy Drusky coming in, the country artist singing Three Hearts in a Tangle as a country waltz. And then you would have James Brown singing the same song as kind of a boogaloo, you know, groove tune. And, and when I heard that, I, it just blew me away. And once I started doing more research, you know, you start finding the links between everything. And, oh, you know, looking at a record, Philip Paul, who did he play with? Oh, he played with Little Willie John, and then he played with Freddie Kick, et cetera, et cetera. As an educator, I try to tell my students, research this information, and this is a living history. And, and for example, Philip Paul, a treasure, he's played with Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, Bud Powell, those are geniuses of American music. So that, to me, is, is such a fascinating and incredible thing to be involved in on my own little level here. And the music has an, an immediacy that, in my opinion, is, is hard to find. And it's, it's one of the main pillars of American music in Cincinnati. All of these different groups of people, Appalachian people, African-American people, migrating here and creating this sound. And it's so important for the birth of rock and roll, the birth of R&B, the birth of soul, modern country music, modern jazz. So all of these blues, all of these elements kind of percolating here. And that's what's so fascinating as a fan of music to discover and keep on unearthing little gems and details about it.